Starting a business takes extraordinary hard work, courage and resilience. In too many countries, too rigid regulations overwhelm many entrepreneurs even before they open. And the COVID-19 pandemic is putting yet more pressure on the entire business community. One year into the crisis, many companies are in survival mode. Some 20% of businesses in developing countries are at risk of closing. Millions more are bankrupt. Oczywiście wszyscy mamy taką obawę, ale walczymy, nie poddajemy się i robimy wszystko, co tylko możliwe. The pandemic has spotlighted just how important small and medium-sized businesses are to national economies, while also highlighting their vulnerability, agility and creativity. The International Organization of Employers reached out to some of these heroes to learn what motivates them, the challenges they face and why even a pandemic will not stop them. Like me, I'm a serial entrepreneur, so I've started like small businesses left and right because that's, that's how I do things. I mean, I have to pursue my passion, otherwise what's the purpose of living, right? It never was really my ambition to start a restaurant, but uh, just to prove that my way of hospitality uh, works. I think there was more the drive than starting a restaurant. J'avais toujours un sentiment d'inachevé, euh, cette soif euh, de, de, de vouloir mettre sur pied des unités de production, euh, de, de créer de l'emploi. Et, et voilà pourquoi finalement pour, euh, je me suis donné le moyen de réaliser ma créativité et je me suis lancée dans l'entrepreneuriat. Having the vision and passion are the foundation for launching any small business. El motivo por el que se inicia Pixet es un motivo bastante personal, por decirlo de alguna manera. Estuve muy conectado a lo que era la inclusión y a lo que las personas con discapacidad podían hacer por ellas mismas eh, a través de la existencia y de la vida de un tío mío. But the challenges of transforming that idea into reality can deter even the most determined individual, especially if national policies fail to create an enabling environment for business. No, hay muchas regulaciones que impiden que una empresa crezca, y ese es el, 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 el freno que, que realmente no nos deja avanzar, ¿no? El, 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 el tema más que todo es el tema laboral, hay muchos requisitos y el tema tributario también hay muchos requisitos y hay una cantidad de requisitos que hay que cumplir eh, cuando uno es formal, entonces este es un problema que debería, digamos, el Estado, digamos, este, corregir, ¿no? Porque por eso que no se formalizan, digamos, Muchas pequeñas empresas prefieren estar informales por este tema de regulaciones que son demasiado eh, engorrosos. Être jeune femme entrepreneur, avec tout ce que l'on peut avoir, hein, le bagage intellectuel, etc., la vision, la détermination, les compétences, c'est né toujours pas assez. Parce que dans, dans notre culture, dans notre, dans notre pays, on n'a encore pas vraiment accepté la femme en tant que leader. Well, the obstacles they are quite a number, but uh, the one that is most that most affected us at the beginning that we could have avoided was uh, getting employees, not because they are professionals, but because they were friends. But it costed us a lot because most of the people we trained at the beginning, after learning, someone just moves on. And once a business is launched, how are governments assisting them? Most politicians talk about the importance of small and medium-sized businesses, but the goodwill fails to translate into concrete actions. Most of the implementers, they, they tend to ignore most of the startups. Yeah? And they only get to a startup if they are benefiting from them. I wasn't supported by government. It was entirely a private move. And however, I had tried uh, writing proposals, but uh, they did not yield anything. So at the end of the day, I thought about uh, private execution. So entirely, there was no government support. Running your own business often means working day and night. 
How do owners maintain balance between professional demands and personal life? Uh, well, I do have a private life, I think. <laughs> Somewhere hidden. No, yeah, I do have a wife and two kids, and that's hard sometimes. La famille et les amis, ce sont les personnes sur lesquelles nous nous reposons le plus, même quand ça va mal dans l'entrepreneuriat. Donc, pour moi, je garde ça en tête. Je me dis, j'ai besoin de soutien de la famille pour percer dans l'entrepreneuriat. The world is experiencing a historic crisis, and small businesses are bearing the brunt of the economic fallout. Solidarity between businesses and support from employer organizations is one coping strategy. What else, though, are they doing to survive? Spieramy się pomiędzy wieloma firmami, jednoczymy się i walczymy o pomoc ze strony państwa, ale też pomagamy sobie nawzajem. Natomiast tak, wszyscy w naszej branży obawiamy się bankructwa, ale też staramy się walczyć, walczyć każdego dnia i iść do przodu. Pero en estos momentos difíciles es muy importante recordar por qué empezamos con algo. ¿Cuál es ese propósito por el que empezamos? Libertad financiera, eh, tranquilidad laboral, sea cual sea el propósito, no hay ningún propósito malo para un emprendedor, pero siempre hay que recordarlo, sobre todo en los momentos difíciles, porque recordar ese propósito va a hacer que sigamos y que la resiliencia propia de un emprendedor se active. Well, on the onset of the lockdown, I think a lot of businesses, especially the ones in the hospitality business or the food service business, were scared of, of, of that possibility, of um, the possible fact of bankruptcy and, and um, closing shop permanently. So that was the, uh, the, the trigger or the impetus for the pivot. So the pivot was out of desperation because if we didn't do anything during the lockdown, it would lead to a possible bankruptcy, as you, as you mentioned, or closing of the business. So yes, there was a need to do something, and um, the Frozen Meals was a serendipitous uh, project that uh, brought about now a new line of, of business for us. We have maybe had to remettre un peu en question, se, se, se re regarder voir qu'est-ce qu'on ferait, comment repenser en fait notre façon de faire, de travailler, de réfléchir, d'agir et autres. There will never be decent jobs, inclusivity and economic growth if governments do not do more to protect and support entrepreneurship, especially during the COVID crisis. Now is the time to ask our political leaders how they're helping these business heroes.